you at the hill. Ah, you just follow me around and <laughs> just sing Beyonce back. behind you me. Don't yeah. need, you don't need to put sound afterwards. I got your beats right here. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to Daily Hive Vlogmas where you, we're showing you all the fun things you can do this holiday season in Vancouver. Here on Granville Island for a foodie tour with some foodie friends. Hey. Jay and Rich, Zane over there. And we're gonna show you all the awesome things you can eat. First stop, Edible Canada. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Starting with drinks here, we got coffee, coffees, and Mr. Fancy got a mimosa. Drinking a green food mimosa because I'm boozy. <laughs> they drink caffeine to wake up. I drink booze. Yes. <laughs> cheers. Good morning. Oh, cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Right, so challah bread French toast with marscapone cream, fresh berries. Perfect for French toast. The ultimate brunch. So I like to uh, get a little bit of everything the in the first bite. bite. Yeah. I'm that guy, cause like it's all here for a reason, right? So that's my layered piece. Mm. I'm going to go. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. So what they do here at Edible Canada is they follow the 70 20 10. 70% of all the ingredients they have here are locally sourced from BC, 20% from the rest of Canada, and 10% from the rest of the world. But those are mostly just like spices that we can't grow here in Canada because of the climate. Hmm, first stuff done. How was brunch, everybody? Delicious! Yes. <laughs> hala. Hala. Hala for the hala bread. Zane's nephew is just born. He's not just shopping for himself. <laughs> I would fit. Be really tight. Okay, so they gave us this little brochure that has all the information. Let's see. In here. So obviously we can't go to all of these places on the tour, but they give you their favorite places to eat and they give you recommendations for what to order, which is nice. So this is a good way to be tour guide for your friends. Ooh, just uh, now we can go get lunch too. Is it basic if I go get Seagull's Bagels? I want a Montreal sponsor sandwich. Is that yeah. basic? No. It's also a recipe for a maple bacon Caesar. Uh, just go to Edible Canada and buy it. You ain't gonna make that. Who's got all that stuff in their house? It's not, what is it? Vodka, sriracha. Worcestershire, Clamato. Oh, yeah. I don't have all of that stuff. But you, you could get that. it. You could. And then have if, if you're having a party, and then you're gonna spend your whole night making that? Have another maple bacon Caesar? No, make your own damn drink. That takes 12 minutes to make. No, <laughs> there, go to Edible Canada. There are four steps. Four too many. Huh. You can make it one if you're like, hi, Edible Canada, can I have a maple bacon Caesar? And they're like, yep. <laughs> four, four steps too many. Your, your drink of choice is one, vodka in a glass. <laughs> vodka in a glass. Well, we're sorry, we're not all that basic. <laughs> Some of the people. We're sophisticated. Some people Our need. Our can handle that. <laughs> this is your Christmas. This is a Christmas cheer. Shots. <laughs> also, you're like five feet shorter than me. Why am I have to duck to be in your video? Because this is my vlog. Dad. <laughs> the last page in this book is also some coupons. So if you didn't get to try everything you wanted, oh, there's one for Seagulls Bagels. Ooh, 10 percent off. off. Stop number two is a bread affair. Because we can't get enough carbs today. <laughs> Apparently not. The Bread Affair Bakery was started by a husband-wife team. Oh, they cute. originally had an IT company in Toronto and then decided they didn't like that anymore. So they left, came to BC, and were looking for a good bakery and couldn't find what they liked. So they took matters into their own hands and opened this bakery. That is good entrepreneurship. Exactly. Solve the problem that you want solved. <laughs> Life advice from Zane McTee. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> That's the cool thing about this tour is that they give you little tidbits of information on all the vendors so they're not just like stores or restaurants or whatever, they're, they're people and you get to know the history of everybody. That's and really then nice. you can come back to Granville Island and tell other people and they'd be like, shut up, know it all, I'm hungry, I just want to eat. <laughs> it smells amazing out here, I'm, I can't wait to try these. Everyone in Granville Island is looking for a nooner, it's right here. What's the 
nooner? <laughs> it's right here. This is a nooner. No, what is a nooner? What does huh? it mean? Everyone go look up what a nooner is. What is a nooner? <laughs> look it up on Urban Dictionary. Where did this come from and how can I get one? Dark chocolate truffle candy cane cookie. It's a whole lot of Christmas. Oh my God. Head flop. Okay, you've got um, the uh, sweet part bread, which is dried cranberries, maybe semolina flour, which gives it a beautiful kind of buttery flavor and color. <laughs> so, I, I felt the urge to do it. Hey, fatty. Hey, fatty pigeon. Hey, fatty pigeon. Face the light. Uh, no, but if you face it, it's like way too bright. Oh, so I'm trying to like backlight oh. myself with the sun. Halo, halo, exactly, halo. Yeah. I can see your halo. Ah. You just follow me around and <laughs> just do your sing soundtrack? Beyonce behind you me. Don't yeah. need, you don't need to put sound afterwards. I got your beats right here. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Bread affair. I can't rhyme. I wish I could. <laughs> Bread affair. That it is where that's Cakes. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bread affair. How's everyone feeling? I'm good. The cookies are so good. I'm gonna do the little red ball. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. We're about to get a little tasting charcuterie plate from Oyama Sausage, and I don't really eat a whole lot of pork, but apparently they do a lot of great non-pork options. So excited to try them. special Christmas tastings that we have as well. Uh, the first one we're gonna start off with is my favorite. It's the red wine prosciutto. So basically classic prosciutto. They've cured it, salted it, and then they've dropped in a big vat of red wine and let it marinate. Looks like really bougie jerky. Yeah, yeah. We had some uh, bougie charcuterie mm -hmm. options. The, what was it, the duck? No, duck. lamb prosciutto. Lamb prosciutto, they like had. bougie <laughs> jerky. And they had duck truffle salami, which is probably like the bougiest meat I've ever eaten. Yeah, it's <laughs> when I think of duck, I think of uh, the ducks in the Stanley Park pod. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure they don't taste like that. We're in front of the secret donut window at Lee's Donuts that you can only get access to if you're on this tour. I'll give you donuts right out of the window. It's good service. These gingerbread donut, they only put them out at Christmas. And when I saw them there, I was like, okay, a little gingerbread house. I'm like, it's so cute. I want this. Please support Please support You can't not do the head thing. I know, right? Go on, done. Eat it. Little scavengers. Whoa, the, the fam is all here. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed following us on our Christmas classics market food tour. How are you feeling? Full of sugar and <laughs> carbohydrates. <laughs> Full of carbs and sugar. That's how you want to end your holiday food tour. Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs> Merry Christmas. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more fun things you can do in Vancouver during the holidays. And we will see you tomorrow.